Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you the five tricks that help me with morning sickness. Now, I just want to tell, put a disclaimer in right now. I'm not a doctor. These weren't approved by my doctor. These are just what has worked for me. It's just some friendly advice. Don't, don't take me to church on this. It's just my little soapbox of what's helped me with morning sickness. And I find that sometimes sharing this information, it could help somebody else. So, um, my first thing is get plenty of sleep. I found with my first pregnancy, I was sicker because I was staying up late and getting up early. So get plenty, plenty of sleep. Like, no joke, when you're tired, go to bed. Like, if you can, of course. I mean, with in reason, there's people that have jobs and have to work. But if like you get home from work and you're exhausted, go to bed. <laughs> like, don't plan this big, huge meal. Don't plan to go out that night go to sleep like immediately as soon as you can go to sleep and i promise you you will sleep all night long um the second thing is is that in the morning it helped me to drink like a hot chocolate for me drinking that hot chocolate it was just something warm and comforting and sugary in my belly and it made me feel so much better number three is for me i'm sick in the morning when i wake up and in the evening right before i go to bed is when i get sick so for me, like lunchtime was the time for me to eat my meal, eat something healthy and something good for me. So whatever time it may be, whether it's breakfast for you or dinner, eat a big meal. Because for me, it was like, okay, I had a little hot chocolate in the morning. I'm going to eat a huge meal for lunch and probably not eat anything for dinner because I just feel that awful. So eat a big meal. Whatever meal you feel the best, eat a huge meal and get like really full on. And something interesting that I did look up, your baby doesn't start um, eating through you, you know, like using its umbilical cord to eat through you, its placenta and stuff like that, until it's further along in the pregnancy anyways. So don't feel bad if you eat this huge lunch and you're still full at dinner time. Don't be like, well, I have to eat something. Um, the, it takes a few weeks for the baby to be eating through you anyways. Um, but as always, Ask your doctor first. That's just something I read on babycenter.com. My fourth thing is if I ate a meal in the evening, like if my husband and I were going on a date or something and I had to eat something in the evening, it would be, I would get lemonade with it. I found that eating, drinking like that acidic, um, sugary drink helped like calm my stomach and my nauseousness and I was pretty okay to eat things that didn't smell terrible to me. I was, I was okay, I didn't get too sick. And the final thing, if all else fails, have your husband cook. There were nights when, or your significant other, whatever your situation might be, for me it's my husband, have them cook. Have them, like there was times when my husband would come home, I'd be laying on the couch, cause I'm just like, I feel sick, I can't move, I can't cook dinner, smells are repulsive, I can't do anything. He would come home and he would just, make sandwiches for the kids or make, you know, whatever his ability is that he can make, let him cook. Your kids are gonna be fine, he's gonna be fine. There was a point where he did live without you, whether or not you wanna believe it, and they're not gonna die for eating that stuff for whatever it is that he makes, not having a square balanced meal. They're sick, being pregnant. Um, so that's one thing that I think is just like huge advice. Get out of the kitchen, let your husband cook. He's part of this experience with you. They're part of this whole um, journey with you and that's some way that they can help and feel more a part of it, then let them. But let's recap. Since there was so much, the big ones I would do, get plenty of sleep and let your husband cook. Those two, if there's nothing else you remember from this video, those two are the two things that I would say are number one. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to follow me on Instagram. Bye guys.